went to 820 Taylor in Winnipeg and there's an aquarium that's uh, been at the office for uh, the last number of years and every uh, year a new group of fish from the Grand Rapids Fish Hatchery will go to the office and um, are in the aquarium for the public to view. So this morning it was time for uh, the sturgeon to come back to the hatchery. They were too big for the aquarium and it's their time to get stocked out into the river. It's a rare opportunity to see these fish. Um, to be able to see these fish at this stage is a unique opportunity. And so uh, this, this will be perhaps one of the only chances for, for people in the area to actually see uh, lake sturgeon juveniles um, uh, released into the river. This year we raised, uh, we're going to be stocking uh, 33,000. After the hatch, we had 38,000. So that's, I think that worked out to 86% survival from the time they hatch between now when we're going to stock them. And since 1993, 94, since we've been here, we've never had a survival rate as high as that uh, until this year. This is, a, this is kind of a record. Manitoba Hydro is interested in owning and operating a fish hatchery because of the potential effects that uh, generating stations have on uh, lake sturgeon populations. In addition, uh, Manitoba Hydro is interested in supporting research on these fish and this is a fantastic facility in which to do so. It serves as a, a facility in which uh, people can be trained in how to rear a lake sturgeon and also to educate the public. It's a place where uh, pu the public can come and, and see these fish and so uh, this facility is open to the public uh, in order to do that. I like this kind of work. That's how I started was in high school. I did raise uh, sturgeon in aquariums so that was my one of my jobs over the for the past two years, last two years of my high school years and I didn't know what the uh, outcome would be so here I am. So Manitoba Hydro has been involved with Lake Sturgeon stocking since about 1993 and they work in close association with the Nelson River Sturgeon Board. Every spring uh, this group goes to Landing River to collect um, eggs and brings, uh, brings those eggs back to the Grand Rapids Fish Hatchery to, uh, to hatch out, raised to a, a point where their survival in the river will be better. And uh, in the fall and in the spring, uh, Hydro along with members from the uh, Nelson River Sturgeon Board will stock those fish back out. Recently, Manitoba Hydro supported research that uh, took place in an area called Sea Falls and uh, about 90 fish uh, juveniles were collected and 70 of those juveniles had pit tags. And so that was an indication to us that uh, these were fish stocked from this program that had uh, survived the stocking procedure in, in the last few years. So it's very exciting. And that's the idea we like to see is something to be left behind for the younger generation to be able to catch what the old ancestors used to enjoy. <laughs> After 40 years working with fish, I've never lost interest in it. You know, it's very, it's very interesting and uh, it's something different every year. It's never the same. There's all, all, every, every lot of fish that acts different, especially sturgeon. It's really interesting.